Hello everyone, Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media and I'm back here today with part two of my Slytherin diorama of the common room um, from Harry Potter of course. Um, so I promised I would do updates of my little uh, room here so I will do that and I'll show you some of the things I've made and um, some of the preparations, sort of ideas that I started with um, to come up with the idea, some research I did. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. As you can see uh, from my last video, I managed to get the front here of the Slytherin uh, common room. This is just um, I have no idea from the movies what the outside of the Slytherin common room looked like. Like, um, so, like, I didn't want to rewatch the movies again, but from memory, I can't really remember seeing the outside of, of the room. <laughs> so, um, this is just my version, and not everything's going to be in this room exactly like it is in the movie this is my interpretation i'm going to try to do it um as well as i can so that you can see that it yes it is the common uh, room from slytherin but um don't expect it to be um 100 percent you know authentic um if you're looking for dioramas like that you've come to the wrong place so <laughs> Like I said, it's going to be very much like it, but it won't be exactly like it. So, with that said, okay, so um, I got this attached. Um, I got it painted the way I wanted it, did the bricks. Got my Slytherin um, shield on here, um, which turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. And then I did get these pillars painted up. Uh, with my texture paste, which has just got a uh, undercoat of a dark grey, and that's what I started with. This one was in a dark grey, and then I will go in and put a undercoat of some coloured bricks in there, and then these two pillars will end up the same colour as this, so that will all match. So that's for the outside now. If you can see inside the di diorama at the back there, you can see I have added the tapestry uh, wallpaper. Um, I think in the movie it was actually a tapestry hanging down, if I remember rightly. Um, but of course I don't have a tapestry. <laughs> so I just printed off um, pictures of the tapestry and I've made it sort of into a wallpaper. And... I have put inside, I have painted the walls, I don't know if I showed you before, but I have painted the walls inside a dark grey, which I'm not happy with because looking at some reference photos, I think that the common room was actually more of a, um, what do you call it? It was more of a um, sandstone type colour, I believe. I don't know, it's hard to see in some of the pictures um, that I pulled off the internet. They're very dark, sort of gloomy pictures. So it was hard to see if it's really grey or sandstone walls. So I started off with this dark grey. Um, but it's just an undercoat and I can change the colours and make them into more stony look, um, which I'm planning to do. Now, you'll remember from part one, I did do the stairs. So you can see here on the side, I have got the stairs there, which I have painted in sort of a gray concrete type look. If I can get that up to the camera. I don't know, can you see that? It's kind of, yeah, I covered it with Mod Podge and they're supposed to look like concrete steps. And then just pegged on here, um, sorry, I'm trying to get this in the camera, there. Now you can see I've made the Slytherin um, main entrance door, uh, which I painted like a dark chocolate. And you probably can't see from the camera angle. I don't know if I can get that close enough, 
but it's got um, some texture in there that makes it look like a nice wooden door. And then either side of that, I have made, I've just pegged them on. They're not glued on yet. I'm not quite finished with them. But these are the side pillars that you can see in the movie. There's some pillars either side of the entrance to the Slytherin room. So I'm working on these pillars. I'm not really happy with them at the moment. They're not 3D enough. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm working on those at the moment. I haven't got the floor in yet because I'm not quite ready. Now, what else have I done? I'll just slide that back for you there. Okay, right. Um, so my little couches, my little Slytherin dark green Chesterfields, you can see they have been painted. So I painted them in acrylic paint. And I had this um, pretty green velvet ribbon that I had at home. And I made, if you can see that, tiny, tiny little cushions for the couch that you can see in the movie. They do have some little cushions on their couch. Um, I was hoping for a little bit of a lighter velvet colour, uh, more, more of an olivey green. Um, but that's what I had on hand and my chances of finding more of an olive green <laughs> were pretty slim from where I live. So they got painted up and I'm really happy with um, how they turned out and how the uh, colour is. So they are completed. Now, the reason why my little sofas are so small is because I want to emphasize how big the Slytherin common room is. And if you look in the movie, you can tell that, yeah, it's a room in a castle. It has really tall ceilings. Um, it's quite a large room. Um, and to make everything fit, um, like my oval table I want to put in the end here and my side tables, I needed these sofas to be quite small so that I could um, emphasize how big everything else in the room was, like what such a big room it was. So I've got them done. Now I also did show you the start of my, um, the uh, chimney, the fireplace in the Slytherin room, and this is, it kind of completed and I, Sorry about the truck outside. It is the rubbish removal truck. And he will move on in a minute. <laughs> oh dear. It's normally quiet on my road and I just happen to be filming on the noisiest time of the day. <laughs> okay. Right, he's gonna move on. Yeah, he's going. Okay, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. At first, um, I had it a uh, gray color and then realized from my images um, off online that it was more of a sandstone color um, fireplace there and um, so I used egg carton to make my bricks and then I used a couple of layers of paint to get that uh, stone look and then here is the Slytherin um, sign on the top that you see in the movies. And that was actually supposed to be like um, a 3D mould. Um, but I'm not that great with Sculpey and clay and being able to sculpt an entire um, <laughs> Slytherin um, badge here. So... Um, what I did is I just printed one off and then I just gave it a light um, colour of grey and cut that out and stuck that on because I just, you know, there's certain things I cannot do. So I have to, I have to allow for that and come up with a different way of doing it. Then we have this sconce or whatever it is. And I don't know if you can see in there, but there is a tiny skull in there, which actually looks like now a bit of a doll face. <laughs> um, I don't know. When I painted it, it 
yeah, I can see that it looks like a skull on the right angle, but if you're just looking at it straight, it kind of looks like a doll head in there. <laughs> but um, it is, it is a skull. Um, I had from, um, I bought them for, uh, I think my journals or my coloring books, I bought little black skull, um, they're like stickers, but they were made out of plastic and they were 3D with a flat back and I was going to use them in like a witch's journal that I was going to do, but I've scrapped now, um, Anyway, I glued two together so that it made more of a round shape because you're not going to see the back of the skull anyway. Um, <clears throat> and then painted them white. Um, and then this around here is some um, plastic packaging um, that I saved from the bin and I made this uh, sort of square shape that it sits in. And then this here is a piece of uh, wood from that um, ship kit that my father-in-law um, gave me. And I just painted that black. And then we just have a little bit of um, wood here for the um, mantle. And I kind of blackened it up a little bit more around the bottom and inside uh, here. To make it look like you know that the chimney is actually being used and the sides I've just painted kind of roughly um, kind of brickish but I still need to finish that off because I ran out of egg cart and I didn't have much um, left so um, yeah I'm still thinking I might just draw the bricks um, on the sides um, instead of doing egg carton although i might still do egg carton just see how i feel <laughs> and how much time i have um so this is the fireplace complete and it will go in here of course opposite uh the and it's not going to sit because um, this whole thing is on an angle sitting on top of my bed so it's not going to sit but it it will be glued up against the wall here opposite the couches and then of course underneath where the fireplace sits um, will be painted black as well so you don't see that bit of wallpaper underneath so I might just rest that on an angle there there just so that it's out my way um, and then I only got a little bit done the other day I made the little <laughs> whoops there you go can you see that it's a little wood basket and yes that's real bits of wood inside just little twigs i found outside i made the little basket and i'm going to paint that um i think it's like an a tin sort of color um from the movie so that of course sits next to the fireplace like on that and then what i'm going to show you next is I came up with this whole idea and what I wanted exactly in here so <clears throat> these are um, some of my drawings Can you see that um, so I had an idea of doing all these um, rooms separately seeing how many I wanted to do and then making them kind of come together as a whole type of castle so I'm not sure if I'm still going to go with this. Um, I've got plans of different um, miniature houses that I would like to do. Can you see that? Is that blurry? <laughs> um, I'll put it back here. So, um, but I had an idea of doing eight of them. So Slytherin Comoru was number four on my list, but it's the one I wanted to do the most. Um, so I also had um, the greenhouse, of course, um, Professor Umbridge's office. Um, I would like to do the staircases uh, where you see them going from different rooms. Um, the Great Hall, Dumbledore's office, um, the Gryffindor dorms, all common room, but I'm thinking more the dorms, like with Harry Potter's bed in it and uh, Ron and um, Neville's bed. And I think that would be nice. And perhaps a potions room 
or you know something with Pro Professor Snape um, and then I've also got written on here um, the dungeon underneath <laughs> um, but yes yeah, sort of making this all join up together and then making it look like a castle in the background so this is all open but you know that it's the castle so oh um oh, i should say hogwarts so that is the big dream um but whether i've got stamina or not to do that um yeah we'll see <laughs> because like i said i have some other ideas that i also want to do i really thinking of maybe perhaps doing a uh, Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula diorama, um, or just Dracula in general, Dracula's house. Um, I really like the idea of that. Um, I've also been playing around with ideas um, of haunted houses. Um, yeah, I've got all sorts of ideas um, that I would like to do. So whether or not this comes to fruit, I don't know. <laughs> um, I've got here the dimensions 1 to 16 scale, and that is totally wrong. I'd say this is more of a 1 to 12 scale, I think. But I'm just really doing it by eye. I'm not measuring everything. Um, I'm just doing it what I think looks visually okay um, in size-wise. Um, so what else will I show you? So, okay, I have got some initial drawings here. <laughs> Let me get this in focus. Uh, very scratchy initial drawings. Um, so I was going to do a half of open circle type room in the start. Um, this was going to be my entryway, so yeah, I scribbled down some things that I thought I might like. Again, some very sketchy images here of what I wanted. So I had this sort of going another way. I had the staircase here, which was totally wrong. I had, no, that's correct, but it's looking a different way. I had the staircase, then... The sofas, the fireplace, the table here, another table here, and then I had windows and cabinets all along here. Again, with that round theme, which I decided against. Um, here is another idea that I had. Um, this is off of a diorama I saw on Pinterest. Um, so thinking of it as another sort of look, more open. Um, which I also didn't go with. And here is that picture uh, that I put off Pinterest um, just to give me ideas. And in this one, you can see Slytherin's um, bedroom in here. So, yeah, I think this might be off of a game or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so what else can I show you? Um, so, yeah, there's been a lot of planning involved. Um, here is some pictures that I've drawn. Um, so you can see the Slytherin fireplace I've drawn up. Sorry, in this corner here. I think that's clear. And I actually drew that they had little snake heads coming off the sides of the um, fireplace. Whether or not I still do that, I don't know. In the movie, they are not snake heads. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but they do have these little things coming off the edges of the fireplace, which I still have to do. Um, but I thought it would be cool if they actually looked like little snake heads. Um, this is the skull in that glass uh, thing on the fireplace. Um, there is this thing, this lantern thing that's made out of gold that sits in the room next to the fireplace that I really want to make. So I draw a picture of that. And a picture um, of a mirror that I want to do. Um, and like the wooden chest. So they're all just little pictures that I've drawn. And <clears throat> here are some more pictures. So this is the big lovely uh, glass sort of window in the room that you can see in the background. Um, and this is just, um, here is just how the wallpaper went 
and then there's these round arch things and then there's a zigzag pattern and then there's stonework so that is how the walls look in the background I don't know if you're interested in this but this is all just um, my workings out of what I was going to do and this is just a list basically of what I need to do next and things that I've done already so that's that and then of course I pulled off images from um, Pinterest and different sites of what the room looks like just different things that I need to look at so just a few images there so I've got all of that in my workings now I do want to show I have made my feature window here that I've just started now all this has to be cut out of course out of the cardboard and then I need to sort of put some windows in here and some windows in here so that will be my next um, project to do and I don't know if I'm going to do one or two windows yet I'm going to see what I think looks best one is definitely going to be on the side wall there might be another one on the corner of the room I'm not quite sure and then the other thing oops sorry I'll you. the other thing is <coughs> my fireplace just fell down but that doesn't matter um, I've made these arches which go on the back wall above those tapestries you'll see them uh, in the movie and they go like that I think they cross over like that um, and they're going to go above the wallpaper and they're made out of uh, concrete um, so I've got to paint these and make them look like kind of moldings so that's also um, next on my agenda so that's where I'm up to this is part two of the Slytherin common room and I hope you uh, like it. <laughs> um, I'm doing my best. Um, it is my first um, diorama this size. I've done two little sort of um, dioramas for Harry Potter that were sort of this big um, that I followed a tutorial for on YouTube. Um, they are on my Instagram account. Um, so news mixed media coloring if you want to look them up one is um, Ollivander's one shop and the other one is um, Professor Umbridge's office um, and they were my first two dioramas ever made and I decided to do them so tiny <laughs> um, but I had a ball with them and they're really good but um, yeah I'm really loving this size like you know, I uh, really love this and, and totally getting into this. And I hope you're enjoying it with me. And I hope you will stick with me for part three and see um, what I get up to next with this beautiful diorama. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone, and have a great week. And I will see you soon. Bye.